Well, in this image, we can see both the right and left main bronchi highlighted in green, which supply oxygen to the right and left lungs respectively. Let's move in a little closer now and look at this image here. And we're going to focus on this image for much of this tutorial and investigate the parts of the lung, specifically in the right lung, which we can see in this man's chest. As we mentioned, the main bronchi are the first branches of the trachea and are the first components of this system destined for a specific lung. As the first branches, they are also called primary bronchi. Each main bronchus splits into lobar or secondary bronchi. However, this differs between the left and right bronchi. In both illustrations, we see the right lobar bronchi, of which there are three, highlighted in green now. Each lobar bronchi travels to a different lobe of the right lung. This differs from the left side. The left primary bronchus only splits into two lobar bronchi. And this is because the left lung has two lobes instead of the three lobes the right lung has. The lobar branch further divide into even smaller air passageways, tertiary bronchi, which we will look at next. And here are the tertiary bronchi. These are smaller and more numerous than the lobar or secondary bronchi and travel to the segments of each lobe of the lungs. Due to this, they're also called segmental bronchi. And if we look more closely at this zoomed in part of the image, you can see segmental bronchi in the right lung, highlighted in green. Beyond the tertiary bronchi, branches are called bronchioles. Bronchioles can continue to branch and branch and branch 20 to 25 times before we reach the end. They continue to be a conduit for air to travel into and out of the body, and there are a few different types of bronchioles. Ones that terminate as smaller bronchioles and just help to transport air are called conducting bronchioles, and bronchioles that terminate with alveoli and also transport air are called respiratory bronchioles. Terminal bronchioles, one of which we can now see highlighted in green, are a type of conducting bronchiole. In fact, as their name suggests, they are the last and therefore smallest conducting bronchioles in the tree before we get to the alveoli. We can see that distal to the terminal bronchiole, there are other bronchioles that have some sacs on them. And we'll get to those next, but these are no longer conducting bronchioles. Remember the other type of bronchiole? That's right, respiratory bronchioles. These are the bronchioles distal to the terminal bronchiole and now highlighted in green. Respiratory bronchioles, which measure about 0.5 millimetres in diameter, transport air and have these little sacs that facilitate gas exchange. If you found this quick anatomy or physiology video helpful, you'll enjoy our video tutorials even more. Click on the button and you'll see what I mean. We have hundreds of videos available to our premium members, not to mention all the fun quizzes, complete articles and atlas sections to solidify your knowledge. Click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy and physiology.